Depot, it's 826. This is Monday, May 7th. We're tracking Amin Nibiru. Venus is not Venus. This is a conspiracy. This is a conspiracy. This is not Venus. We are looking almost due west. I'm using a Codex Sport 100. It's a little thing. I have all the filters turned off. I'm going to zoom in now. Okay. Now I'm going to try and do some tracking here. I don't know if I need to leave it zoomed out tonight. As you can see him. I want to Should be able to let it run like that for right, one minute. I think I have him hooked up to the battery so we can run about. So it's 827? It looks low to. Oh, it's your camera run. Bless up everybody. You have a metaphysical experience here to experience the most high. What we're looking at now is the bottom of the apogee turn of Amin Nibiru. He has come in on an eccentric elliptic orbit, okay? You have to track him from about 6 o'clock in the evening you'll see him come in high about I guess it's about 70 degrees from where he is now almost almost straight up and he come in as a fine white dot you need a clear night but you can see him with your eye come in but he's fine and then he comes in and he comes kinda of straight down this is why we're looking at you have to look at a picture when they talk about the, that guy in the 90s, Zachariah Sitchin, talked about Nibiru coming in on an elliptic orbit. Okay, so he came in, he's white, now he's going into the red phase as he's turning. This is a ship. Okay, this is Amin Nibiru, his majesty, his imperial majesty. So, when you see him come in, He's going into the turn phase now, okay? Is that cloud out there? It looks like he's going to fall into some heavy cloud right away. I don't know if we're going to get much tonight. There was a firefly that just went by over the water. If it showed up there, I don't know. Um, okay. So anyways, at this point, he's making the turn on the bottom. And he's going to retreat into the, his galaxy, tear through the matrix, and cut out again. But he's going to drop low to the horizon. Go into this red phase, and then as he goes away, he, he gets smaller, deeper. You know, when there's not the low, cl the, the low horizon, it's easy to cloud up here. Chemtrail or whatever. 
if you and he's only like five degrees above the low horizon when he's going away and, he, and he'll if you have the clear night though he'll appear m like after he catches his track and becomes the fine red dot it looks like he doesn't move for like an hour or so I don't even know it's like an hour <clears throat> That's when he's going straight way out into the galaxy, whatever. And you see, like, the ship turns. That's where you see the red of the whatever kind of engine they're using or energy. Coming in white, it's a light ship. I don't know everything what they do. Go talk to all your educated people, whatever. I smell a lot of rats, though. I smell a lot of dead rats, you know that? These people, they're in a dimension. Okay, there are these people that I don't even like to totally repeat their blasphemy, but they're blasphemers. They're blasphemers. I've made a lot of mistakes myself too, but I try not to blaspheme as I learn and go through things. And I, I've done things, and you could surely do it, but I don't think I've really blasphemed. But whatever, I'm not going to say much. I'm not the judge here. I'm not the judge, but I am a wolf. You know, some things you just can't put next to a wolf. So people have to know themselves. I see some people knowing themselves, though. It's very nice sometimes. I see some people all around the world on the radio and on YouTube. Facebook sucks. Glad I kind of checked out of that a couple months ago, but I go back once in a while. I got bombed today, though. Fuck. Fuck them. They think this isn't a tear in the Matrix. I'll show them. I'll tear them something new. I'm going to tear them something new. With I'm in Nibiru. Okay, people who are supposed to understand this would do a, uh, an astronomical procedure they call a stellar parallax, which is um, like a calculus calculation. I, I don't know. You look at the movement, the curve. You know, is it the predictable curve, whatever? But this is this this curve. If you look at this curve, this is not a, a curve that would match a planetary orbit from our galaxy. But <coughs> the stellar parallax includes the extra dimension, which is hard to calculate. You have to use the luminescence of the object. So you, to really do it properly, you need a clear night where the clouds aren't coding out the thing. But you see, when you see something and it's not so bright, and then you see something that it's bright. Da. Okay. He's either turning up the lights or he's getting closer. I smell some rats. I smell some rats. I know the rats are close. I know they're close. You didn't see the story on the news that they come up with this underwear bomber? Oh my God. Oh my God. And then Biden is going on with the gay thing. Because um, if, you, if you knew the level of distraction, how distraction works. God help you people, man. Wake up. Anyways. Fuck it.
I don't really give a fuck. I'm just doing what I have to do right now to fucking tear this bumble clock. I will tear this bumble clock till I till I stop breathe. And let me tell you something. I look forward to that day, you know. Oh. I look forward to it. Oh, what I see. That was a leaf. Yum. You see some, it's good when people wake up, it's encouraging and it's nice, I see things. encourage other people and encourage young people and guide them because we have a generation these younger kids which is so look you cannot blame the youth nobody should blame the youth fucking idiot I swear I wish I had an iron fist Like some fucking immunity cloth. But the. Okay. The situation where young kids are in today in society and everybody really, they can't figure it out. You have. You, it, you, it, you can't figure it out. I, I will guarantee that you're not going to figure it out. Get the fuck out of here. What the pussy haul? Um, there's just... The web is just too deep. Oh, God. Let me tell you. All the whole... The, the, the whole number system. If you just don't know how your brain is aggravated in how they manipulate your brain on so many different sub, 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 sub levels that are deep into the kernel, deep into the kernel of the operating system. Deep, 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 deep. deep. So you have all these interruptions, all these things. They know how to fuck you up and you're fucked up. The web is just too much. How things work, electricity. You know, this whole electricity thing and the nuclear energy people is not real. You, you, people talk about the occult and these things and they spin spells and things. Things, you do spin things out of the air. Electricity, electricity is spun out of the air. I don't know, you can call it photons, protons, call it whatever the fuck you want, but just, you, if you want to do a simple experiment, just do it in your mind, just picture a bicycle, the generator you put on a bicycle wheel tire, or if you know about a gasoline generator. You have this thing there in space and you spin it, and you spin the copper wires that's in between these inductive plates. You have to have some metal plates on the outside and metal on the inside. And you spin it. You can spin it differently and do different things. If you do counter-rotating, which is how they do like spaceship time travel. You do counter-rotating forces. That's like what Tesla would discover. But the regular Delco, they do, the spindle is the wrong way. Okay, they do it the wrong way. They make it tall so it's less efficient rather than flat like a hula hoop or a spaceship. You know the way hula hoops work? Oh. 
You know, oh, you know the way hula. You ever use a hula hoop? You you never know when you get the hula hoop going right. How it goes faster? Oh. If anybody wants to know secrets of time travel, meds that. The hula hoop and how that thing. Is, let me see, is this thing working? It's coming down a little bit, is that? This is the slow part of his turn here. The, um. Oh, okay. All the shit they tell you. Alright, look. Even GPS satellites. Go read what they how they say a GPS satellite system works. They have six orbits. Four satellites in each orbit. That make like... I forget. Each one does like four trips a day or something. But look, people, if you just figure out, it's so fucking fast. Like, if you figure, you have to figure out the diameter from the center of Earth up to the, their um, orbit. And, and then you figure out the circumference of their orbit that they're traveling every day. And then you figure out what they're saying, and they do it four times a day. And you say, how the f Fuck, is this thing working the bumble clot? This can't bumble clot work the way they tell it to you. They would have to be using so much energy and it would, let me tell you, it would not bumble clot work. Not the way they say it's working. There's such fucking lies about the sky and space, about nuclear energy. How can Japan, the world's third largest economy, it's a little island. It had the world's largest CIA nuclear plant, Daiichi, Fukushima, Fukushima Daiichi, and they had 54 nuclear plants running in the country last year. Now they're all shut down, and the, the economy's still going on, and it's an island. Oh, I know it's a big lie, and it's hard to understand these things now. But I'm telling you. That's the way it is. It's a lie. They, they use fear and all things. I don't know who the fuck they are. Let me tell you something. The people here on earth, I don't really see anyone really. I see some vampires and some old people that, they can be some Satan, I don't know. But these people here, even the people you think that's doing something, like, um, the Illuminati and puppets. The world leaders, the Sarkozy's, the Bombers, the Camerons, puppets. The Gillards, the Harpers, puppets. Puppets. Okay, so we want to get to the puppet master. So now we get to the puppet master, we're up with Freemason, we're up in space now, we're up these people who control the skies, who do fuckery, the secret things, they have the secret technology, the secret things, they have stolen, they have the secrets from the pyramids, the secret light technology, these are the people that do abductions around the world, these are the warmongers that do these fake videos and, and cast spells upon people to make them do demonic, um, mind control, terrorist assassinations, and run social experiments. Now, this is very fucking high, and I can't figure it out. To me, it's demonic. It's something... Because here, here, come walk with me now. Who invented language? Who coded the English language? Who coded it? That's the one. I want to know who is the one that gave us that bumble clot thing. And say to learn the bumble clot thing four times? 
Long hand, uppercase, lowercase, print, uppercase, lowercase. What a bumble cloud. Mind the sacred ground. Who did that? I want to know who's coding us with language and fuckery things. Who the fuck is coding us? Who's the fucking coder? Is it Satan? I you know you must be boss or you have some. Who are your coders? Baal? I don't think he's so fucking smart, the bumbleclot. You have someone very fucking smart. You have someone very fucking smart. The one who coded language. You have someone very fucking smart. The one who divided nations and gave the nations names. The Hebrews know, the ancient Hebrews know that for them to start a nation bring desolation upon them. That's why they, what's happening in Israel. Learn the ancient Hebrew teaching about not to have a nation. You be tribal, be community, be socialistic, be communistic. This nationhood thing. Who put the line on the earth? Who did this? Might be hard to find who put the line on the earth, but someone made up the name for the nations. But I want to know who made up the language, who coded the language, who coded the English language? Freemason. You're so fucking genius, pussy hall. I don't give a bumblecloth. Do whatever the pussy hole you want a bumblecloth. You're a bumblecloth. You're a bumblecloth. Let me tell you something. I see some pussy hole blood clot. Talk about God is dead or God is the end, the end of God. He says he's the end of God. Let me tell you, that person should never stand next to me. That one should never stand next to me. Ghost will take him down if he stands too close to me. I can say I speak the truth from my heart as inspired. I speak it and I'm not afraid of it and I'm not afraid to die. And I wonder how many of them can see that before my eye. Oh. You see me? I have some things. I can tell you this. Mind is sacred ground. And nobody can shake me from that. It makes me very ignorant, we call it. You know what ignorant means? Ignorant means don't tell me nothing. And I 
that's what ignorant means. Fucking idiot blood clot boy up there. Go around in his vest to pussy. Oh, I got it. Let me tell you something. I'm stopping. What am I, what time is this? What the f- It's 8.51. <clears throat> 8.51. What is going on here? Is this on the screen? Do I even see anything here? The fuck is going on? I can't see nothing. Do I have to move the camera? Did I bounce the camera? What the fuck is going on? Oh there he is. Is he still in the corner here? Oh sh I'm gonna zoom in people. Just change camera position. It's 8:52, and I zoomed in. So this is all fucked up. Fuck you. You know that? Fuck you. you tell me anything. Tell me anything about fucking Venus. You see me track Venus through the sky when he's moving like around 8 o'clock. You see how fast he's moving. Now he doesn't move. Oh, God help us. Father Negus Negas. Jaras the Farai ever living. Ever faithful. Learn too many things, you know. Learn from high natural mystics. High, 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 high. All right. You want me to tell you personally? No, I can't say that. Tape is up to 28 minutes. Yeah, so he got small on the screen. That's because he was fading away. That's why I don't know if you could see him on your screen, but I can hardly see him on this little thing here. But I'm telling the truth, and I'm going to continue to tell the truth. I am not an actor on the world stage. So what are the shadows you want to bust? What are the shadows? Eating food, glucose, baking soda, fluoride, drugs, mind, hallucinogenics, imaginations. I can tell you this. Study St. Peter Tosh of Belmont. Study His Majesty King Selassie I. And study Lord Jesus Christos. And study them the no mind way. They have all different names for things that have to do with no mind or mindless. 
You see, they teach you things, right? Whatever they teach you is shit. If there's one thing I can teach you, it's throw away whatever they teach you. And that is what Zen is. Once you get it, you throw away Zen, you know. Zen is something you use to unlearn and get things out of your mind so that you have natural guidance and you're open to the natural wisdom and the natural mystic and natural things the Almighty has given us. Zen is a healing tool to find that spiritual nature and connect with your spiritual nature where, wherever your nature is. We're all different, you know. I don't expect to be one or the other. We have different situations. We have different things. We have all these twos now. So this high thing connect us. It's very high. Do you know how high this is? Huh? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Around the 1860s, there was a cholera epidemic in Jamaica. Over here, and it was like the first time they made a black man, like a police chief or something, so he could go into villages and arrest the black people who were sick, and they took. The ones in our area, seven miles out of Lucy, to a place on the north side, which is called the Point, and they took them seven miles out of Lucy to the seven side, and they had like a hog pen there for cholera people that they threw them in, and they would come, they would throw them in there and bury them. Some they would bury alive. And this has been told to me by old people and their parents and cousins Cole. They used to bury people alive here in the 1860s. And the London Colonial Times had a, a reference to the cholera place at Cousins Cove. I saw it in the London Colonial Times. And I saw even in my time where people back there had to stop digging because they come on skull cap and bones. And even like in the um, horse and buggy days up to, you know, the horse and buggy days was is hardly even gone from here, but like from like the 1900s and so like the, the people said when the rain would rain hard, the bones would wash down onto the whatever, they had the little pony trail or whatever. So it is and they have water's volcanic rock. I'm right in volcanic rock. This is all volcanic and this fault, this cliff. I'm on four faults right now. There's an underwater cliff that drops off about 60 yards straight out. Right over my head is another cliff. Then I go back 30 yards and there are two more faults in the land where it drops back down to this level. So, this is a vortex. Different things. I don't sleep with windows and things and watch TV and those things. You think you can put me in a fucking bo Oh, I forget that.
What time is it? We're getting a good... See how he's hanging? Ah, how can Mr. Somebody explain this to me? How Venus is just hanging there now. I hope it stays clear. It looks like we're going to be able to see him for a little bit. God bless us almighty. Oh, what is this? It's um, 9.01. Sorry, I can't focus on some of these better things. It's 902, it just turned. Up <clears throat> to 36 minutes on that. 36, I think I could hold 54 minutes on that, there's a 4 gig card in there, this is being shot at 720p, but then I have to down convert it, I tried uploading it, let me tell you, the other day I spent like 20 fucking hours trying to upload the one thing, man, anyways. This is 720p, then gets downgraded to NTSC DVD 72480, I think. And then I upload that. Uh, he's getting small. You see him still? I think you can still see him now. He's kind of motionless though. You see it. If you've been watching me for a while, you see how when he's up there, he moves really fast. He's on the ellipse. Now he's gone, you know. You see how it's the turn. You can see it now. I think you can see it. If you want to go on the internet, search Zachariah Sitchin, who's a CIA troll stool again, but I don't know what he is. He's not fucking real, though. I know that. They plant all these stories about the thing. But you can or go search the images for Nibiru orbit or whatever, or Nibiru or Sitchin, and get some of the pictures of the orbit where they illustrate how the elliptical, the eccentric, the eccentric means it's tilted um, to left and right, kind of. And... Um, Elliptical means it has that shape like an egg, the bottom, the pointy part of an egg, you know. The pointy bottom of the egg. What could be the fat? I guess you can have different shapes. Ellipses. <coughs> you know about fuzzy logic. You know about complexity. The butterfly effect. That butterfly was in West Africa, too. It's no fucking Chinese butterfly or nothing. That's an African butterfly. Chinese butterfly can't do what African butterfly can do. That's complexity theory. Fuzzy logic takes you into quantum physics and things. Fuzzy logic means you can't be sure, you know. You have to take that into account mathematically that you're never sure of nothing. That's fuzzy logic, yeah. Those guys really don't know what the fuck they're talking about. All them, if you follow all the formulas, all their signs, they always come down to some pussy hole shit. They say like a singularity, or they say some big fucking number, or say some crazy shit, like E equals MC squared, or the Heigendigger number, or the Heisenberger number. They came up after the Einstein bullshit. Um... And, you know, like in statistics, you call it the confidence interval. Now, unfortunately, we have gotten so talking upon ourselves, talking upon ourselves with such low confidence interval, they multiply each other and degrade the truth factor into mud right now in society. Is it... Is he gone there from your screen?
I can still see him. I'm gonna run for a while in case I get. Oh, I think I see him. I see him on the screen. I see him in life here. And this that's a dot on my screen. I don't know if that's him. <clears throat> Look at this. You have one fucking pixel. One fucking pixel can tear the, a new asshole on someone's matrix right now. This one pixel is going to tear someone a new asshole, you know. That one pixel is going to tear someone a new asshole. One pixel. Yeah. Touch my pixel and see what happens, you bumble. <coughs> Touch my... Oh, it all comes down to one pixel. One pixel on the horizon. Fuck you up, Neil. Neil! Get up, Neil! You hear me? One pixel on the horizon. Fuck you up. One loud pixel on the horizon. But. Oh Lord, I found a loud pixel. I see him. I see him. I think if you boost this video, you're going to be able to see him. I'm going to let this thing run. I see him with my eye. I see him with my eye. And he's just there. He's like about in my eye. I don't know how to say it in degrees. If I say it, could be more than five degrees. Or in, I can. I keep on guessing these numbers, and I don't really know what I'm saying sometimes, people. But I know. But. I'm not so sure, but I'm a pretty good guesser when it comes to those numbers things. <coughs> I don't like to put number systems too much in my head because it's a system you understand. These things that are meant to divide us, you have to your mind is sacred ground into the people who made up these systems and the way they teach us the systems and how to use it. They have blasphemed Father's creation, turned us against each other. You don't know how we turned against each other. We turned against each other in every bumblecut fashion they could figure out from mother, from husband, wife, man, woman. Generation, look at the generation gap. Nations, graces. I see. <clears throat> oh my god. People arguing on the internet about each other. About. Demons, spirits, holy spirits. Okay, I can still see him with my eye. He's fine. I guess this is going to be enough. If you can see him, you know what's happening. And this video is really draggy to upload. And I just... It's 9-11. What a good time check, huh? We are on code, huh? We're going to bust this code. You, you know, I was there in 9-11. I was on church in Barclay. My head was bent up looking at the first building when fire come above my head on that second one. 
I was they, they called me, man. Those motherfuckers called me. I don't know how they do it, but there's people above us, you know. There's people above us. There's people above us that are coding us. They're spinning spells over our heads. They're playing numbers. They use numerology. I see it in the news. There's some fucking story about a Norwegian goat or fucking thing today. The fuck? That was someone. That was a bird. A big bird. Gone out to... Fuck you. Fuck you. Anyways, God bless everybody. We know what's going on now. Signing out.